Mm -hmm. idea. And as an energy coach, I focus a lot on the positive energies. Yes. yes. And you know, these days with the pandemic and elections in Trinidad, <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot of negative energies mm -hmm. around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So my decision is, you know what, being aware of what is happening, yeah. I am not going to focus on the negatives. Uh -huh. I'm going to look at the positives in all the situations. Mm -hmm. So that's how I decided to go with, with the mind. Yes. With the body, I definitely believe in terms of, of eating healthy, mm -hmm. in terms of exercising. And I have been following my exercise routine. And he said, I will continue. I, I need to watch a bit in terms of the eating healthy. I uh -huh. cheat a bit, I, yeah. I must say, you know. <laughs> and in terms of soul, in terms of, of my spirituality, I'm a, I, I believe in my God. Okay. You know, and for me, any decision, anything I do, the way I live my life mm -hmm. is all about my God. Oh, you know, I'm guided mm -hmm. by that. So that was it for me. Yeah. And that day, I felt very good after the other aspects of it that mm -hmm. you would put in. But those were the three key, you know, aspects mm -hmm. that I focused on. So I what think, did you do? I think my self-care day was a very selfish day. Okay. I really got into me. I relaxed. Mm -hmm. I think I, I, I did some work in the morning. I dealt mm -hmm. with a new client and that really invigorated okay. me. And uh, after, after lunch, I... I did my nails, I relaxed, I, I cooked a meal. Right. So it was, very, it was very just relaxing and, and not, not really taking on anybody or anything. Mm -hmm. But it was self-care day. Um. And you know, for today, Jennifer, as we are all on Fix Up 5.8G, just to remind you, we have a special show today. Yes. Today, we are going to launch one of the most, if I say for myself, innovative products. Oh, yes. Because one of the main focus of our taking care of self and getting ready to go onto the third mm -hmm. act stage, we say we take care of the economy, we take, mm -hmm. make sure that we have the money to yes. get around, and we'll have a show focused on that. We look at our community, but then we say, what about ourself? What about ourself? Taking care of self. And we have been looking at this taking care of self and asking ourselves. Jennifer and I have been talking about mm -hmm. it. I mean, we do individual things. Yes. I, I make it happen with my TRX and my Pilates. Mm -hmm. um, I have a, a coach who makes me check on what I eat and what I don't eat. Um, yeah. I don't often listen to her, but we'll talk about that soon. Yeah. But we have been battling with how do we, how do we establish that we are ready? What is our baseline? Yes. So Jennifer and I have sat down and said, okay, we always say before you start something, make an assessment. But then, what is the assessment of self? So Jennifer made a point just now. We mm -hmm. talked about the mind, mm -hmm. we talked about the body, and we talked about the soul. Yeah. And we said, you know, if you're going to fix up, you need a kit. A Definitely. Toolkit. You need a toolkit. You need Ready. to have uh -huh. tools to help you fix up. So we sat down and we have come up with what we understand to be the essentials yes. for taking care of self as we go on to the third act stage. And our essentials would yeah. look at the mind, the body, and the soul. Yes. So in this program, this afternoon, Caribbean and Trinidad, we are in for a treat because we are going to allow you to have access to and understand how you can establish a baseline mm -hmm. to let you know how ready you are to get onto the third the stage. stage. Yes, and sir. if you find that there's anything that needs to be tweaked, then we are going to have you have access to resources to get those fixed. Yes. So we are excited. And Definitely. Jennifer, 
you are going to start that whole process. Yes, and as Terry Ann mentioned, that process, and it's simple, it's all online. So which makes it very simple, especially at this time, yes. during this COVID time, mm -hmm. that it is very easy and it will be done online. Yes. So the toolkit has three different aspects in that toolkit. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. And as Terian mentioned, each aspect cover a different area. Mind, body. body. And so, and we talk about the soul as a kind of yes. maintenance. Yes, <laughs> you know, right? because that's yourself. And as mentioned, our three specialty professionals. Yes, I mean they are all experts in the different areas. So we do have the expert in the health and fitness, nutrition, I should say, and fitness. The soul, yes, the maintenance. The maintenance. The <laughs> we have it about the mind because we do have these psychologists on board. Um, and when who, we talk about the mind, it's yes. so important to know where we are grounded. Because Definitely. if we don't have a sense of where we are, then we end up anywhere. Yes, and our yes. industrial and organizational psychologists. Mm -hmm. and, and you will hear from them, eh? just, yes. you know, just giving you an idea what is coming up. Mm -hmm. And then we do have... The body. The body. <laughs> right. So we but have you know, we're with taking us. taking a different twist with the body. Oh, yes, we're not because going. Because when you think about body, you think about doctor and injection and tablet. No, this is all <laughs> about natural. And we do have the naturopath who yes. would. And a physician. Yes. Who, yes, would go that natural way and help you out there to understand your body better. Okay. So I think this is the time to introduce. Yes. We or you should break, go on a break but right now. <laughs> we'll see. We may, we may go ahead and do the introductions. And okay, after the so introductions, we, we could probably start the break. break. So, okay. so, on my left, I have to say, so I have to introduce right now, Maria. So excited to be Yes, <laughs> and this is Maria Elias Smith. And Maria is our nutritionist and fitness coach. Yes. And our Terry Ann, I said, personal <laughs> nutritionist. And we were talking coach. about my eating just right? now. <laughs> so Maria would be with, with us this evening mm. to share with you all what this assessment is all about. Mm -hmm. And then we have Dr. Desiree Arnold. And Dr. Desiree will be going more inside. So her assessment will deal about your organs. Are you really ready? You think at this stage in your life you are ready? And Can this body take you there? Yes. And Dr. Arnold is really taking mm -hmm. a very, I will say, holistic approach mm -hmm. to your health. So her assessment would be able to determine where you are mm -hmm. at this stage. And Jennifer, um, unfortunately, there's one part of the puzzle that oh is yes. missing. Oh, yes. So you will see there are two and, and not three. Yes. And we did see we have three specialists yes. with us. We want to send out our best regards to Dr. Nika Joseph, who is unfortunately unwell today, and she's unable to be with us. But she is here virtually, mm -hmm. and we will, we will be hearing from her. But Nika, we want to say, get well soon. So I think we're going to go on break soon, or we can go ahead with our interviews. <laughs> OK? So we can start. All right, so Maria, tell us, so tell our listening audience what your assessment would be all about and how can they benefit from it. Okay, great, so jumping right into yeah. it, right? But I just want to start by saying that yes. I really appreciate about this time that we're in mm -hmm. is that the gift that COVID has given to us, there, there are many yes. gifts that it has blessed us with, but mm -hmm. one of them is that it has really prioritized health and self-care yes because for the first time in a very long time we know without a doubt that taking care of our health is more than about losing weight and we have had that conversation right? so many times yes yes so i really really am excited about this mm -hmm. time and uh, being part of this project yes. during this time to really help people to tune in to where they are with their health mm -hmm. and 
eating and fitness yes. and in order to take it to the next level because mm -hmm. I believe mm -hmm. I believe that we can be healthier stronger leaner mm -hmm. and fitter at 80 than we are at 50 most definitely <laughs> <laughs> what do you all think about that I'm there with you on that <laughs> totally in agreement yes. right so my my goal and my vision for for this toolkit that we want to empower people with would be um, giving you the tools to mm -hmm. assess where you are currently and to focus in on what you can do in order to achieve that that okay. goal we could probably have an outline from there sorry now <laughs> yes. yes yes well hi um, Jennifer and uh, Terian, first, and the entire thank you Caribbean. very much for <laughs> this, this great um, uh, product you created with us and yeah. invited me also to be part in. Um, now, I am addressing the physical part right. of the assessment, whether your body could carry you for the next 20, 30 years, sustainably and strong with your best foot forward. and the, the assessment is built up so that we can assess which areas need help now, where yeah. you need to nurture to balance off again so you get a good jump start yes. or not even jump start, that you have a good recovery from the past years of parenting, career, putting many other things first and it is really such a wonderful opportunity that you have brought out to create this where we can come off life vest medications mm -hmm. and nourish and nurture where our body needs it to move on yes. because as Maria said yeah I am amazed already when I was 20 I knew a few people who were in their 80s and 90s and they were like fitter than yeah. like oh, yeah. my parents were in their 50s uh -huh. and okay one thing is the health one thing is the fitness but the joy in life yes. oh yes yeah. yes and avoiding the stress avoiding the stress and love a lot is a big part mm -hmm. too really live a happier happy life at this stage Absolutely. yes i love that great so we do have a clip with Nika, Dr. Nika Joseph, that we're going to share with you now, mm -hmm. where Nika will tell you all about her assessment and how it, um, her area is going to benefit you. Because we're talking about defining ourselves and redefining ourselves. So most of us start the conversation with our title. So I'm Dr. Nika Joseph. Yes. Right? Then we go into what do you do? So I'm an industrial and organizational psychologist and I help counsel people with their career choices or transitioning to the next phase. Talk about the people with 10 to four, five years left. 10 to five years left, let's plan. <laughs> Because ten to five years not, left. not think about it at all. No, ten to five years left. Let's plan. What do we need to do? If you want a car post retirement, you may want to purchase that two, three years out from there. How much money do I have? Do I sell the current vehicle? Can I purchase a car, a company vehicle? Those types of things. Um, what is your pension plan? What is your medical plan? So all those things you need to know. What is your health situation? 50 year old people don't think about those things. What is your current health situation? Because they are peaking. <laughs> <laughs> and then what do I want to do? What do I like doing currently? So sometimes you want to mm -hmm. keep stock of what do you like doing up in your job. It may not be your on your job description, mm -hmm. but there are duties and things that you engage in or activities you engage in that you truly like that kind of kept you in the organization or doing that particular profession for a certain length of time. So all those things are things that you want to keep track of and so forth. Some of some persons can decide on going back to school or studying because what they want to transition into Ooh. may require a certificate here or something there yes. or some up to date on the knowledge. <laughs> They are the only do it for our children, eh? Yes. To have them decide yes. career choices, choices and that. I mean, all the same thing. thing. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. There are those who kind of have an idea, but they're not quite too sure. There are many other persons in your life 
that can yeah. give you a temperature check. So you can chat with your spouse, you can chat with your um, religious leader, yeah, anyone who knows your friend, best friend, um, yeah. sister, brother, um, your mother, their family members that will tell you, you know, or the neighbor who's in that neighbor, and they notice certain things. There are people, your mother probably go, you know, since you're small, you're trying to dance, yeah, and <laughs> you, <laughs> I'm not pushing a certain direction, but if you want to take up mm -hmm. dancing at this point, then I think that is really where your passion lies. Or the people who do learn creative artistic things in the middle of the meeting. <laughs> all your artistic expressions, all versions of it, yes. um, gardening, and, and there's so many. This and is my favorite, cooking. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you may be cooking for the family at one point, but now you can explore all the different types of cuisines yes. and versions and yes. styles of cooking. And now you can kind of make, merge it and venture further out. So it yes. becomes not just cooking for the family, but now you can have these nice little social events and yes. have your, you know, your yes. connections. Yes. Plus, you can review hotels, you can review restaurants if you like to eat, then that can be something that you get into. You can have a podcast, all the expertise that you have, an experience that you have developed over the years from work and interacting. You can have your own podcast, you can have your own... You know, I want you to really things. speak about that because I think... People don't realize if you spent that what we call the second act, mm -hmm. you spend a significant number of years doing something, whether it is raising the children, mm -hmm. whether it is being the janitor of a school, whether it is being the person in the cafeteria, whether you were in staff, middle management, upper management, whether you are a garbage collector, whatever it is, people don't realize that in those jobs, in those positions, there are skills that belong to them and there are skills that belong to the organization. And when you leave, you leave it to your skills. Mm -hmm. is, is that a real challenge for people? Do they really feel when they leave the, the job, everything stays there? I think what people don't recognize is what their value really was yes. in terms of their contribution. And, and though something, some of your thoughts, your ideas was not necessarily right for the organization, does not mean they're not right. Yes. So even if you are the garbage collector, recycling, upcycling, and all of those things may not be the thing for the organization that you are with, but it is your something that you can yes. do. Well, well, and you understand and you observe that there is a need for these things. So no matter what your role may have been, you would have observed, you would have had ideas of how it could have been done better, more efficiently, differently, or spin off into something else. Or what people always came to you for. Exactly. You know, if something had to be like, no, 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 she could do that. Welcome to your sanctuary. In the heart of the city of Port of Spain stands a door. Beyond this door is an oasis of calm, a source of rejuvenation. Beyond this door awaits the sanctuary day spa. Our telephone numbers are 625-8040 or WhatsApp 468-3118. Restore your mind, body and spirit. Make your booking today. Yes, so we are back. So, Dr. Arnold, tell us, you are dealing with more the body. With your assessment, how do you go about, what should the client expect in doing that assessment? Okay, this ass assessment is online. So, I would ask, of course, you would have to give your name and your, your personal information and then we go through your um, history, like okay. how um, your, your present state of health, then your yes. history, like of what you have been working, the kind of stress level okay. you faced back then, you're facing now, your sleeping pattern, pain, uh, urination pattern, <laughs> color, there is, there are a lot of questions which will ask also like about anger, 
and so on. Um, people might wonder, like, why is she asking these things? But mm -hmm. the questions are built up so that they give me an insight on your energy flow mm -hmm. and on your organ health, um, energy-wise and um, nu nutritional-wise. You know, like the liver has to detox; it has to spread the blood, distribute the blood mm -hmm. according to the needs during the various hours during the day. Mm -hmm. And so it has different aspects which will look at that particular health or like the kidneys are our life spring source. There is where when we were born we had uh, something called Jing okay. which is in there and gives you this, this life energy and we cannot replace Jing but we can nurture. Okay. This was why in the toolbox yeah. I have brought a sprinkling can because Great. nurturing your, not just your body with good food and, and nutrients, nurturing your soul, your, and your body is really important yes. and the consistency of it, like the regular rhythm of it, not oh, this week I'm looking really good, good after me because next week I want to go and really abuse my body. Yeah. It doesn't so <laughs> work I, like this. So when I complete, when the client completes your questioning, from what yes. you're saying, it's very detailed for you to understand your different, not just your organs, but the um, state of mind is when they do answer the question. And so when a client completes your questioning, what would it tell me after? I mean, you did mention that I will have an idea in terms of about my, maybe my liver function and some of my organs. Well, you know, part of the questionnaire is also where I'm asking whether you have pre-diagnosed conditions. Do okay. you take uh, medication or okay. um, also supplements? So I would have to look at the whole picture. Mm -hmm. And let's say if you, if you tell me now, okay, I have a heart problem. I am now 53, but doctor said I need heart surgery, I only have 30% heart function, but the operation is in 18 months and uh, what to do? There yes. is, uh, the human body is just fantastic, it's, it's magical. You would believe that the heart with 30% function can recover within a few oh, months. Sweet. So you will be able to tell the client so, that, yes. I would, well, you know, the assessment is not to go so deep. Mm -hmm. It is yes, to assess to get the whether we can need yes, to work okay. further mm -hmm. or whether it, it's the first step. All right, great. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, where I, I would see, because I'm also asking questions about the food, how a typical breakfast, lunch, or dinner looks, it is very important that the client is honest to themselves. Um, so that we can work on attainable goals. Great. And yes. the most important thing is that you have a vision of your health goal. Mm -hmm. You understand if me as a practitioner, let's say you come, but you just want to live a little bit pain free and have some more time with your grandchildren without yelling at everybody is something different than mm -hmm. when I think, oh, she wants to run the next marathon from yes. Toko to Point Fortin, like the <laughs> next Iron Woman. Yes. It's two different things. Right. So it is, um, the assessment basically will give the person a point of where you stand and what can you do immediately mm -hmm. now to better your situation be it with nutrition, with certain supplements, or going to see a specialist, or maybe opt to work with me on telehealth, or come and see me personally, which right now with COVID, we have now community spread, so a lot of people might opt to see somebody online or yes. via phone. So it's really, thank you. Well, Definitely with our clients and with those of you who listen in our audience out there, it really gives you that baseline to where you are right now in your yes. health and what you can do, what action you can take to really enjoy and we'll see the to that stage. Yes. All right. So let's okay. see. Yeah. Okay. So let's hear okay. from Maria Terry. So we are going on an interesting journey with this essentials yeah. toolkit. So we would have 
based on the interview with Nika, you would have seen we have a sense of where we are with our mind and the direction of our mind, what kind of life we want to live, what do we want to do, you know, whether it's a choice change of profession or whatever it is. And that assessment is the first assessment that we do. Having done that, we now get to Desiree. And Desiree will tell you whether, okay, are you, is your body ready? Okay, now, Maria, one of my favorite people. <laughs> Maria Elias Smith yes. is, uh, I, I summarize it, movement specialist. Yes. <laughs> okay. Maria, we have to get ready mm -hmm. for this third act. Yes. In a toolkit, why is it important that after we set our mind straight mm -hmm. and after we understand where our body is, why do we now have to come and think about food and movement? <laughs> Excellent question. So, you already have what I deem is one of the most important, which is the motivation, right? Because mm -hmm. when you have that why, what is it that you are looking forward to in life, that, as Desiree pointed out, yes. that is going to be what's going to draw you forward in order to take action on a consistent basis mm -hmm. to enjoy the life that you want to enjoy into the next 30, 40, 50 years yeah, even, absolutely. right? So... In order to nurture our body and also mind, right? Because I'm a big believer in the mind-body connection. So everything you do to nurture your body is going to help your mind in terms of cognitive health, right? Mm -hmm. Because that's a, a yeah. very important consideration. Yes, and that's as, as we age. get older, yes. Exactly. Yes. And uh, I view eating and exercise as food for mind and body. Okay. Okay, so... When we think about a toolkit, I, one of the ways I like to think about self-care is we start by looking at what are your needs. Mm -hmm. So becoming aware of what your needs are at this stage because they change, right? Yes. As we go into this third act, some, some needs may be the same, but different quantities. So, for example, nutritionally, mm -hmm. we, we all need energy, mm -hmm. right? We need calories in order to have the energy to, to do move. things, right? <laughs> but do you know how much energy you need? Okay. Right? Going into the third act, we actually need less calories, right? While we need more nutrition in terms of There's vitamin. a difference? There's a difference, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, you can have a lot of calories with no nutrition, <laughs> right? So that in itself, the fact that you need... I let Less everybody know this is my, my eating coach. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so the fact that you need less calories but more nutrition, that in itself needs a little thought. Okay. How am I going to pack all of this nutrition that I need, right? Because it's that I need, because for example, you need a little bit more protein, right? Mm -hmm. you, you need a little bit more of certain vitamins and minerals. Mm -hmm. You need more of what I call the healing nutrients from plant foods, plant-based mm -hmm. foods primarily. Mm -hmm. So these are the things that help your body to fight the good fight, right? So mm -hmm. the, the natural antibiotics that we can get from foods like garlic and things like that, right? So food is our best medicine. Food, you, how do we use food as medicine in this stage? Becomes mm -hmm. a lot more important than just using food for yes. calories. And Maria, we have talked about the importance of movement, not mm -hmm. exercise, yes. but movement mm -hmm. as a critical factor in ensuring that our performance on the third app stage is a grand one. Yes. So why is movement so important as we go older? Yes, well, in, in the working with clients, for example, a client told me this week, one of her main, main goals, yes, she, she wants to drop some pounds, she has some health issues that she's uh, dealing with, mm -hmm. but one of her motivations, if you will, is she wants to be able to travel the world and take outdoor vacations because yeah. that's something she always wanted to do and has not been able to. So how are you going to go and enjoy an outdoor vacation if you, you go to somewhere like Italy and you have to walk everywhere? <laughs> to you know see anything that can be seen and uh, eat and enjoy the sight you have to be able to walk you have to have stamina mm -hmm. right so we're talking cardiovascular health yes. right so if they don't leave you on the side of the road while you're catching <laughs> your breath <laughs> right uh strength we need mm -hmm. muscular strength mm -hmm. yes. a lot of older people who are active they get really good at the walking and they like that and walking is great i'm a big fan of walking mm -hmm. 
definitely encourage That's that. Me. Yes, <laughs> right. But in addition to the walking, because what happens is that as we age, your muscles want to relax. <laughs> It well, the yes, too. they also <laughs> want to shrink, they want to disintegrate, they want to disappear, right? But yeah. if they disappear, then you're not able to move in the way okay. that you used to move or want to move, yeah. right? So the strength training becomes even more important, yeah. I believe, over 50. And it's not too late to start. You could have never done it a day in your life before, and you could start at 60. Okay, so and get are. stronger. It's never so too late. Are. Let's make a connection because in this toolkit, yes. the the you are going to do assessments, and I know mm -hmm. we want to get to the phone line soon. We'll okay. get there in a minute. How can how is the assessment going to work on both sides? Yes. How can yes. you assess my? I know the eating and the then the exercise. <laughs> Yes. How are you going to do it? So I don't know if I should share that, you know, when we were yeah, developing the toolkit, mm -hmm. you know, this was a, a question and I said, well, we have to assess a certain level of fitness and Jennifer got very nervous. <laughs> <laughs> she got very nervous instantly. I just couldn't do all those plants. <laughs> right. But, but it is good. We have included in the assessment some a very simple, very basic yes. thing to be You can tell them of. the methodology. No, I won't <laughs> tell them the exact move. But they are basically, yes. it's asking you to perform six mm -hmm. basic um, mm -hmm. movements. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm not involving weights or anything yes. like that. But we do a simple assessment of your cardiovascular endurance mm -hmm. and your ability to recover mm -hmm. from physical activity yeah right so that's a three minute test and then you would test your heart rate so very simple okay. uh, we also do a simple assessment of uh, your lower body strength upper body strength core strength and flexibility so yes and we'll tell very people, simple you, you, so have, you have, have nothing video, to fear about you have nothing to be to afraid help of you, to help you <laughs> yes. so we want to now invite someone onto the set to chat <laughs> and to ask questions and we will now get our lines open because this is exciting i think we yes. are on the way to giving you all a baseline or a tool to help you determine is my mind where is my mind not is it in a good place where is it let's find it first where's your mind where's your body how is your are you fit enough how am I working? <laughs> yes. And then another assessment to see, all right, the eating. Well, we will assess the Agreed. eating. And then am I able to? So who better? <laughs> Aaron. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Yes. <laughs> So we love to have you on We're set. also opening up the lines. We're opening so up our lines. And feel look free at all for all to call. The numbers will go up on the screen yes. just now for you to call us. But Errol, mm -hmm. you've been hearing us talking about the toolkit. Yes, I've been hearing. Right? I've been hearing. Are you ready? And what, what do you want to know <laughs> about this toolkit? I want to do that test. <laughs> I, want, I, want, I, need to know, I need to know yeah. if my muscles are going to be able to handle because I have plans for them to be doing a lot. Right. You know, I don't have any plans for my muscles to get at ease. I have more work for them to yes. do. So I need to get that assessment. Good. I need to know that the heart is yeah. good. Okay. And the muscles, the muscles, I need to know that they're strong. So I'm anxious to know about that test. Absolutely. Okay. That has yeah. piqued my interest more than anything else. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. And the other issue. Errol, I can I could ask you the question. When you think about getting ready to go onto your third act stage, do you consciously look at these three areas? For example, your mind. Now, your life is pretty active. But your mind, what's going on with your body? And then the maintenance, the food and exercise. How yeah, do you well, see that? Em emotionally, um, I have concerns there from time to time. Yes. Because... Um, to put it mildly, I'm very much in touch with my emotions. So <laughs> they really take um, a jamming. And any one day I go through the complete myriad Great. of emotions. And so we have to I get scared. The assessment. <laughs> you know, I get scared about um, having my wits about me as I age. Yes. It's something that freaks me out, you know? Wow. And 
I, you know, I used to like something. I'm watching a movie and I see something in the background. I had to get up and breathe. If I saw, I see somebody looking like they can't take care of themselves. That would freak me out, you know. I get real paranoid about that. I'm, yeah. I'm doing a lot better now, yeah. but um, I would like to know that there's an assessment I can do that somebody could tell me, ah, don't worry, you're going okay. You yeah. know, I try to do the right things. I try to keep my coconut oil in my diet. I try to be pretty active every day. You know, I try not to sit for long hours without getting up and moving and so on. And I do keep my brain active. I learn new things. I try mm -hmm. to learn new things all the time. Mm -hmm. Even within my own area, I edit. I try to, you know, learn new things about editing and yes. keep developing more and more because, yeah. you know, at 90 how much ever, I want to still be going, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. So, Arnold, does this, this uh, sound like a typical person getting onto the third act stage when you hear all of those issues? Oh, yes, definitely, because like me, I turned 50, like, not, not too long ago, and I was like, oh, my God, I didn't expect that. You know, like, you wake up and you do so in the morning, you say, like, what happened to my thing? <gasps> my knees, my fingers, <laughs> my knees, and then you're like... You look into your future and the past, and you're like, I feel so tired, and everything hurts, and, <laughs> and I see in that person there, and and it is scary because you know we have saved a lot of dreams for later on, and I remember I asked my mom, so how it was with your mom when like she entered menopause and then age? She said. Oh, she didn't have no problem at all. She had no stress because like when she turned 40, her children were grown and all she did was exactly what she loved to do. She would sit in her she rocking chair, make socks and Christmas gifts and look after her garden. She had n n no more responsibilities, but our lives have changed. Mm -hmm. yes. And yes. the pace has changed. And believe me, it will change more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if we think if when we adapt to today's life, there is more to come. So we have to remain adaptable. And you see how you say this, this anxiety? Yes. One is rational anxiety. You see in it and, and you have fear. But one is like, you're like, what if yes. anxiety? You know, which is mm -hmm. like kind of irrational because you're like contemplating a situation which isn't here yet, but it affects you. Mm -hmm. so we have, and Errol, I want to mention definitely the psychometric assessment would help you. After psycho? Psychometric, or psychometric assessment. assessment. So with all three, so you definitely need nutrition and fitness, mm -hmm. all about your body and your mind. Yes. So we have opened up the lines by the yes. calls. Yes, yes. You know? And while what? we wait for the call, Errol, what is your fitness routine? And Maria, how would, oh, we have a call. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Fix Up 5.8G. Are you ready to fix up? Yes. Okay, who will we be speaking to? This is Richard Young. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Richard Young, you're missing an action. <laughs> yes. But nice to I hear from you. I'm into the program because I think what you all are speaking about is something that's very important. Yes. And finding center, finding a balance. Yes. And, um, so, yeah, I am just calling in to say that it's really, really critical and everybody has a great challenge with the fact that they have to find mental health in a way and balance mm -hmm. and find um, some emotional center as well as the hardest part is to work on your body. And, yeah, I know I'm a little older than people think. <laughs> and, um, and I just find it very challenging to get the, the body in the right place, the core. And so that's, um, that's what my challenge is. Richard, you have Maria Elias Smith here. Who, what, what, ask her, what is your biggest challenge with getting that body organized? Let's see what she says to you. <laughs> Maybe better just tell her. Richard, are you, are you still there? I'm still here. I'm still here. He's lost. So I want to know if it is only through, everybody says, exercising and when you're a tad older it's very difficult to want to exercise with the commitment that you should so there must be other ways of streamlining this body is it through stretches is it through um re 
pleasing. Some people tell me all these kind of um, natural path thinking. I need to know. Because I really need to fix up. <laughs> Richard, I'm really glad you mentioned some of those other aspects because I am really big on transitioning uh, as we enter this third act. We, we want to transform the way we think about movement and exercise. It doesn't yeah. have to look like what it looked like in your 20s or what you see in your 20 year olds Thank doing God. on Instagram. <laughs> you know, that, you know, to get the six pack, that is, may not be what it has to be for you. So, yes, uh, when we think about fitness and getting the body on online, um, one, of course, having realistic goals, right? If you're not willing to do what the fitness model does to get his six-pack, you're probably not going to get a six-pack like his. But is that really your goal, right? <laughs> Maybe you just want it to be flatter to fit back into a size, your size 36 pounds, you know? Um, and that would be your goal. And that may not take, you know, running up Chancellor every day, mm -hmm. right? So when we think about fitness, we want to think about, as you mentioned, uh, there's, there is the breathing, there is flexibility, there is stretching. And if your main concern is the core, which I'm going to assume means you want a flatter belly, then I say that that is 90% in the kitchen. So that may not even come uh, from, from the exercise itself, yeah? Thank so you're you good to go, Richard. Stay out of the kitchen. One should get the Okay. Thank you so much for calling, Richard. Thank you. Okay. Is, is there any question you want to ask Dr. Arnold? Well, um, no, well, it, it's really, that is the, the focus that I wanted to go on. And it, and it, it's a good way that people start doing exercises for mental, in, in what you call pre-dementia. Um, because I heard that, I heard that loose that people say that there are some pre-dementia exercises you can start doing to, to avert going into dementia. Um, I don't know um, if there are some exercises that people do for that. Dr. Um, I don't know. Do you mean like mental exercises mental to exercises prevent the dementia? Yeah. Well, for sure, but if you don't use your brain to, to use uh, new ideas and so on, it, it would also rust. But dementia has really a, a like, I'm not a specialist in yes. dementia. But mm -hmm. what I understand is that like dementia is all, or, or um, Alzheimer yes. is seen as type 3 diabetes. Um, our nutrition has a lot to do with how your brain functions and our body produces so many different chemicals and it has to pass through this blood brain barrier and certain chemicals are not supposed to pass brain, blood brain um, barrier. And there are I think the assessment is less for the um, yes. dementia part. It is more meant like you are now going to prescription medication number three, and you don't want to go down that spiral yes. until yeah, natural. Um, natural method. I think for dementia, we would have to set up Another. a completely different yes. program. I but Richard, thank you so much for calling in. I think those questions were very, very insightful, eh, yes, Jennifer? definitely. <laughs> okay. As okay. I got away uh, from stating about how I want to find exercise. out more about what I need to be focusing on in the kitchen because I too am concerned. I want to keep my boyish figure, you know. <laughs> I, 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 I want to keep it, try to keep fit. <laughs> I'm going to hit 60 in a couple, in some weeks. Oh, no, And I no. want to know that I'll be, you know, I'll have my energy up and I don't want to... Not yeah. necessarily a six-pack, right? I'll take a two. You I'll take a two-pack. <laughs> Not a gelita. I can't take a gelita. I don't want a gelita. <laughs> Yeah, right. Great. Well, <laughs> let's start with that. If you don't want a gelita, you shouldn't be drinking anything that comes in gelita. Can I talk to anybody right? else? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right? No, yeah. but seriously, um, definitely one of the main causes of, of storing belly fat, especially as we age, is too much sugar or, or carbohydrates mm -hmm. that we're not using. 
We right? find sugars in like almost all foods have sugars. Many foods have some many kind of foods sugar. have mm -hmm. added sugar. But mm -hmm. if you stick with more of the whole foods, natural foods yeah. that come with their own sugar, so yeah. some some fruits, not not too yeah. much. And I know Dr. Anna loves to talk about breakfast, yes? Right. So how we start our day. Often we start our day with too much carbohydrates, especially if we're so not four going to... Is too oh. much of <laughs> four hops bread is too much of a Four hops bread is too much of a Four hops bread is too much of a Our experts in Takadia to rest. Your cortisol level is high. Okay. So your blood sugar will remain high for many more hours, which will cause problems for your prostate, which Ooh. will cause problems <laughs> with uh, your brain and anxiety. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> have, yes, yes, yes. Uh, women have it more extreme because of the hormonal changes, but with men, it just shows up differently. Yeah. So what no. time of day I could have my four hops bread? Oh boy. Uh, throughout the entire day. <laughs> Swap the hop spread. It has nothing <laughs> in there. Eat a mango in the afternoon or mid morning. After you do your exercise, you can. Yeah. Have, After what? After you do your exercise routine, you can have some mangoes and yeah, enjoy. No, no, just before yeah. the mangoes. What? So, <laughs> just before, so, just before the mangoes. The what? The <laughs> exercise routine. Yeah, I, mean, well, I, I do get a lot of exercise. Yes. I don't. Yeah. Jumping and running. Okay. Yeah, I, I jump to conclusions and run my mouth all day long. That kind of exercise you're talking about. Well, that would strengthen those muscles. Maybe, maybe the jaw yeah. and the tongue. But, you know, no, but on a I serious mostly note, walk. I, mostly yeah, walk. I find a, a significant issue, especially with aging men mm -hmm. in our uh, region, is if you look at the, I can always tell from the quad muscles or thigh muscles, uh, you can see that their muscles are deteriorating when you look at their, yeah. their quads. So what right? do you see? You see them shrink. Yes, they shrink. Uh -huh. they shrink. Yes. Sit down. Yeah? Sit them down. So I think, I think from our, you your four yes. hops spread, your mitochondrial energy will go down. I, I, I think one, one of the things... Energy for the muscles <laughs> to we, yeah. we will have to come back and, and look at this because, Jennifer, I think it's, yes. it's very, very clear that the essential toolkit it's is critical for men as well as, as women. women. Oh, yeah. Definitely, no, yes. and Errol will be our number one client, Errol, because definitely you need to do yes. all these assessments. I need, I, I need to, to be assessed. To know yeah. where you yes. are yeah. and to live up to whatever age, 100 you said? Mm -hmm. uh, they were up in the 90s up there. So <laughs> and the beauty is that it is all online. It is all online. So Jennifer, you want to talk some we have some special surprises because we Definitely. have about four minutes left. With the uh -huh. Essentials 5.8 Toolkit, which we want all of you all to take part of, we have a special pre-registration offer. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you go to the website, we will send, we'll have the information for you. Yes. You sign up, you pre-register, and guess what? Mm -hmm. You have a chance to win a free toolkit mm -hmm. with all three specialists yes. there. Yes. So, mind, body, and soul. So you would have mm -hmm. Maria, yes. which is going to be, Maria is our nutritionist, as we mentioned, nutritionist and fitness the coach. The maintenance, the soul. And that, you have Dr. Desiree Arnold, mm -hmm. who would ensure that you're in good shape in terms of your internal, your organs, etc. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And you have Dr. Nika Joseph, mm -hmm. who's going to be dealing with your mind. So what an offer. Yes. Free yes. toolkit. Errol, you cannot enter. <laughs> right. So no. you'll have right. all of you all to come on board, go to the website, pre-register. Mm -hmm. You can also go to the Facebook page. Yes. And you can And that Facebook is C O N E C T I O N S five zero plus add plus add five. sign add sign <laughs> plus. And the connections Facebook is yes. Facebook dot com um, connections fifty plus. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna be getting. We would be during the course of the week, Errol. We're gonna be sending out. You will see our yes. ads. Yes. So you will get more information on how you can pre-register. Mm -hmm and win yes. that toolkit. 
Yeah, but yes. we want to really remind you, it is so, so important when we are embarking on the third act of life. Remember, we said mm. it's 30 more years. It's an entire oh, yes. adult life. You can start over, do all kinds of stuff. Start yeah. from scratch. Start from yes, scratch. It is an entire adult life. It's a transition but period. Huh? You yeah. have to be able to carry good distance. And most of us, as we say, we go and do the normal blood pressure, diabetes, but there's so much more that we need to assess. You know, mm -hmm. where your mind is, the full yeah, run of your mother. Creating yes, yes. and nurturing your future, your dreams. Definitely. Exactly. Yes. Creating that new ones mm -hmm. there, yes. there to live. Exactly. Creating and the maintenance. Yes. The yes. maintenance. Yes. Your possibilities. Yes. And Desiree made a great point earlier when we were chatting. We were speaking about the body has an ability to regenerate, mm -hmm. to heal. So even at this stage, you know, mm -hmm. what are the things we can do to encourage yes. that? And there that? is, you change your cells every how many years? Uh, cells, well, it depends. Uh, different cells change at different rates. rates. But, you know, like a blood cell lives about mm -hmm. 120 days. Okay, so in a year, you can be a whole new you. Practically. Yes. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, if we look at it like yes. that, in yes. one year, hey, all cells changing and yes. the new cells are going to be treated better. But it's critical for us to understand where we stand yes. now. Yes. Yes. And that's why we have designed the Essentials Toolkit. So, Jennifer. Yes. We're yes. still fixing up. We're fixing up. And don't forget, we still have that fix up competition. Mm -hmm. And I like how you look. Yes. I love Dom Dominic's jumpsuit. Oh, beautiful. You. I am so I comfortable in it. And the color of it, too. I love Dominic. this color. Yes. Nice and yes. cool and relaxed. You know, Jennifer yes. looks like she's just ready to go out on a, on a little yacht or some kind definitely, of thing like that. Definitely. I just love my nice, comfortable yes. evening dress, you know. So, hey, we fix it up. Fix right? up. <laughs> Tell us how you would like to fix up at this stage in your life, which mm -hmm. is the 50 plus stage, yes. the third act stage, and guess what again? You have an opportunity to, you can meet with me online, 30 minutes, mm -hmm. and this is all about your life transition area. Yes. You could, you have the opportunity to meet with Terian, mm -hmm. which is all about your entrepreneurial If you want to get into pursuits. some little project. And guess what? We have brought in Richard also for you if you are interested in your style and your image. So and on. also, Jennifer, for those of you who have businesses, small businesses, and I would let the man himself tell you about it, you have access to the Guile Studios. Oh, yes. Don't believe that you, it, you have to pay a pound and a crown to advertise. Come to the Gael Studio. Errol, Absolutely. what's on offer? Absolutely. We have an amazing reach. We have a Caribbean wide reach through cable and we have a global reach through online 24 hours streaming and um, we can produce your ads we can recommend the style of the ad we can shoot for you we can produce all that you need to promote your stuff and you get your ad suited and tailored to use it in your online platforms also so it's just a call away and i'll be happy to take time and chat with you come visit you and see what might be the best way to create the optics as we say for your business yeah so listen when we say mm. we are fixing up our cohort we're fixing it up in mind body area. and soul yes everything is going to be here so we are it is after seven we have fixed up for another hour. I really want to thank you, Desiree and Maria and Nika. You. You're out there. I know you're looking. Yes. Thank you all. We are so excited about the Fix Up 5.8, not Fix Up, Essentials, Essentials Toolkit. Toolkit. Our toolkit. Yes. <laughs> we are so excited yes. about it. And we really, really hope that you all come on board. You're going to be hearing more about it. Log on to Facebook and Log on up. to Facebook, log on to Connections website, and definitely win. You have that opportunity yes. to win, and we so, look forward to you know meeting with you, hearing from you, okay. and pre-register for this week. So, bye-bye, and Errol, thank you. Thank you, Errol. <laughs> Just right. Bye-bye. So, bye, bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.
Please tune in to the newest magazine show from Connections 50 Plus. Fix Up 5.8G. Every Monday from 6 to 7 p.m. With repeats on Thursdays at noon. In Fix Up 5.8G, we prepare you to get ready for life on the third act stage at 50 Plus. We will talk about our money, lifestyle, well-being, self-care, and our community. Join the conversation with us and our dynamic guests in our calling segment. segment. So, on Mondays from 6 to 7 p.m. with repeats on Thursdays at noon, we look forward to you being with us on Fix Up 5.8G.